So question seven then from the 2021 Higher Math Paper 1, a resource paper. Just a little two-mark question. Carry out this integration here. It's a trick one, but they're quite easy because you've only got two possibilities for that. It's either going to be sine or cos, but more significantly, it's a function of a function. There's something inside the bracket there. Now, you can differentiate anything in a bracket, but when it comes to integration at higher level, you can only integrate it when the part, the expression inside the bracket is linear. That means it looks like the equation of a line. It's only got an x in it, not an x squared or a square root or anything like that. And then the process is more or less the same. Integrate the outer part first of all. Well, cos would integrate back to sine. So 6 cos would have come from 6 sine. Differentiating that would have produced that. Leave that part alone. And then if you were differentiating, you'd have multiplied by the inner derivative. Since you're doing the opposite, which is integrating, you're going to divide by the inner derivative. The inner derivative is a 3. So divide by that 3. Because you notice there's no factor of 3 up here. So divide by that 3 and don't forget to add on a constant. Because when you differentiate, a constant would disappear. So you have no idea if there was a number there or not. And that is it. And the handy thing about an integration is you can always check your answer. You can check your answer by differentiating it. So I suppose I could finish that off first of all. The marks stopped at that point. You weren't required to, but I don't know why. Finish it off by saying, well, 3 into 6 is going to be 2. So that's really 2 sine 3x plus pi upon 4 plus c. I would have gone to that. And the two marks they put in were one for doing the outer part. In other words, cos goes back to sine. And the other was for knowing to divide by the inner derivative. So it would be times a third and add on the constant. Yes, so you can always check if that's correct just by differentiating that. If you were to differentiate that, well, the sine would go back to a cos. Yep, the 2 would stay as a 2. But then you would multiply by the inner derivative, and the 3 times that 2 would give you that 6. So that was a quick wee question. Mm -hmm.